Getting older is weird, and it's never gonna stop being weird, but there's some cool parts about getting older too. While I'm an advocate for never growing up, my friend Garrett bought a house, and is having a housewarming party. Well, he bought the house a year and a half ago, but everyone in LA is terrified of COVID. And while everyone in Florida has gone on with their lives and stopped believing in the circus that is COVID, people in LA still believe in it. So I was never allowed to even go to Garrett's house until recently, when he threw a housewarming party. But because he's a dick and didn't let me over one time, I'm gonna tell him that I'm not going and then surprise him because I'm a good friend. Like the video, you're welcome. Join us on a journey to the hospital, on a journey to the top, a true roller coaster ride of emotions. Enjoy. Hello, mate. What up? How's it going? Is the bowl there yet? No, I can see it Saturday morning. Saturday morning. What would you say if I had some unfortunate news? I realized like three weeks ago that I plan to film with Steve-O and Mike Busey tomorrow at the Sausage Castle. After an uncountable amount of lies, deception, and disappointment, I convinced Garrett that I was not coming. Then I flew to Los Angeles. So I've been convincing Garrett that I'm not coming to his party. And the last, I guess like he's got a mechanical bull coming and it's supposed to be there two hours ago, right? And it's not there. And what I did not expect to happen was when I canceled, I had to tell people that were actually going that I didn't cancel so that way they wouldn't cancel too. Cause like if I'm not going to Garrett's party, obviously none of my friends are gonna go either and nobody that's cool. So. Everyone that I invited canceled on Garrett last night and this morning, which is a solid group of people. And even people that Garrett invited, I told to cancel. So pretty much everyone who's supposed to come to his party has texted him and told him that they're not gonna make it. When in reality, we're all on our way. Garrett, Garrett's so sad right now. He's been leaving me on read. I have to like quadruple text him for him to respond. And I get like a half like a half response, you know, because he's just so upset that his entire party is crumbling before his very eyes. And right when it becomes to rubble and just turns to ashes, we will rise from the ashes with tequila or something. I don't know. It's going to be funny though. Garrett's actually upset. It's really great. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> Garrett's been bummed for two days. Wow. And I've been lying to him this entire time. It's friendship. I definitely saw him. Whether he saw me or not is up in the air. I was distracted. I jumped through that fence and there was a dead bird. I was like, ugh, go around it. Look up, Garrett, standing on the ramp, facing towards me, talking to someone. I just panicked and ran back this way, you know? Oh, he's out here. He sees you. He sees you. He's out here. He's out, yeah. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, he did. Oh, maybe we should go surprise him. Wait, what was it? 
Well, okay, so there was a homeless person walking past the fence here. Okay. And then, like, 10 minutes later, I saw, like, I swear, from a, a distance, I saw, like, some yeah, dreads. So far. I saw you from so far away, I was like, I you. told my friend, I was like, dude, I swear to God that was Jack. And he's like, no, there's no way that's Jack. <laughs> and I was like, I feel like that's something Jack would do. And then we went around and looked for you. You weren't there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, like, I guess I got my I, th I thought he was a good friend. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And then I, and all of a sudden, you're in my house. Yep. Yeah. Missed you, buddy. Missed you, too. You remember I said those girls weren't coming either? Yeah. <laughs> They're coming. Aww. Wait, so it's a win. win. Huh? I have so many questions. I've been here since I was supposed to get here. Yeah, Gabe is known for days. Where's Taylor at? Yeah, should we go surprise Taylor? Sophie. Sit under the trampoline. Under the trampoline? Yeah, no, I'll Taylor jump on the trampoline. Okay. Ow, what the f Dude, Jesus Christ. Bro, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was going perfectly according to plan. Garrett was surprised by not only me, but by a bunch of his other friends showing up that also told him that they weren't coming that lied to him too. You, what the f <laughs> it was shaping up to be a great day. Until... I feel like I'm having a- I've never had a heart attack, but that's exactly what it feels like. I have broken ribs before. I have never felt what I feel right now. Well, I can tell you right now that no part of me feels good. I just want someone to tell me that I'm not gonna die. You're definitely once, not gonna once die. Once I get that information... What if I was dying? Why are they- I'm so bad. <laughs> I, I, I won't take any pills. As, as long as my lung isn't- I'm just going. Oh. It's really not funny. It's not. But it is. I have a confession. Contrary to what most people believe, it was not the Modellos that put Garrett in the hospital. Now, I'm not a liar, but I did lie to all of you. And the reason that I say that I'm not a liar is because I think that it's okay to lie for the sake of entertainment of a YouTube video. So I personally don't think that I should be sorry. I think that you guys should thank me for lying to you. You're welcome. This is what really happened. Garrett had a terrible idea to try to stand on the bowl and to put me in charge after I had chugged two Modellos as well. Now I thought that you spin the dial right, it's fast. You spin the dial left, it's slow. However, if you spin the dial left, it doesn't slow down. It just goes full speed in the other direction. Should really be clear instructions for this. Oh, twist the red one. Make sure it's at zero first. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dog, I literally said we were gonna get body and you go. I'm body. Turned it the wrong way. <laughs> 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 Alright. I got it, no, I already know how. Yeah. The second you fall, hit that. Otherwise okay. this shit happens. That'll fucking kill me. So the, the second I fall, hit that. Kill it, yes. Oh, no. hey, we we just like four uh, Alright. Oh, twist the red one. Make sure it's at zero first! Oh! It's just a, just a bull. That was my fault. <laughs> that was definitely my fault. You cramped it up, bro. You like these All right, we have survived. And like the hey, bull. I'll, I'll the the bowl for a sec, will you? Um. Okay. Uh, oh, I really hope I didn't break a rib. You would know if you broke a rib. All right, let's see what this button does, shall we? Me. <laughs> Controls must have slipped. I don't know what happened. I swear I had a zero loss of that 10. Like, what the f? <laughs> <laughs>
but that's like, fine. that was definitely the totally, best clip we've gotten. It's totally today. cool. Yeah. No worries. Thanks. Appreciate it. Channel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's from the horns. <laughs> Zero. Oh, fuck. Oh my oh, god. Oh. Are you sure we shouldn't call them? Oh. No, those are the order. That's just extra like money. Oh my god, I feel like I'm having a. I've never had a heart attack, but that's exactly what it feels like. I think that you're bruised. You're really bruised. I have broken ribs before. I have never felt what I feel right now. <laughs> I was literally just talking about how but, broken ribs are the worst injury because you what you can do fucking put a cast on your ribs. No, you're not gonna do anything. Yeah, man, it's an so we shouldn't even go to the hospital, huh? You should probably just go to the couch. What are you feeling right now? You know how much I hate being a YouTuber for this exact reason. Do you know how much I hate having a camera shoved in my face? But I respect it. This is for you. <laughs> I respect it, Jack. I'm so bummed. I can't you. breathe. I don't want you to be hurt. Uh, you. Yes, the bull. Yes. So, so they're really bad? Yes. Look at it though. From 0 to 10. Um, what's 10? Touch it. No, yeah, if it hurts really bad, you have to go to the ER. If, if I touch it, does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt to the touch. But it hurts from the inside? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you have to go to the ER. So, like, my logic was like, if my feet are close together, then I'll just spin really fast. And I won't get bucked off. I'll just be able to stand there in the middle, just spinning really, really fast. And then when I started spinning really fast, I fell and I tried to jump, and then the bowl just came around so fast. It just it's fucked just me fun. up. Uh -huh. and I think that this, I think that that's the exact same thing that happened to you. So the fact that it hit you in a different place, we're kind of both equally at fault here. The difference was mine was on purpose. And I was on accident, you're right. So you're kind of a dick. It's kind of karma, it's like karma so fast. It's re crazy. reverse karma. That's crazy. You think they got like snacks? I don't know. I want a tequila shot. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. If I'm not gonna die, take me home and I'm good to go. Yeah. Hey, is that hibachi place down the street still open? Jack. <laughs> Jack, if you say one more funny thing, I'm gonna <laughs> freak out. You gotta stop. <laughs> stop. You gotta stop being funny. Please. It hurts. <laughs> oh, no. What'd you do while you're looking like that? Don't look at you anything. Don't think. You look soft. No, stop talking. I look, I'm not. <laughs> please, oh please. All I ask is that you both stop talking to each other. Please. What if I was dying? Why aren't they feel so bad? Garrett. I'm in a very unnatural state right now. <laughs> It's just, it has to be a broken rib. There's no way it's anything more than a broken rib. I'd be dead. Yeah, you'd be dead. For if sure. my lung was punctured, I'd be dead. Hey, that was me earlier. Dude, that was right before everything went wrong. We were having so much fun in that moment. I missed those days. I did too. Very funny. Are you gonna look at Jack? No, I wasn't. Can any allergies to medication? Did you get the COVID shot? Do you have any medical problems you take medicines for daily? Do you live in a lone roommate family? When did your pain start? Did you hit yourself? Yeah. What so happened? We had a mechanical bowl. Ooh. I know that this isn't really the best time, but you think you could Venmo me that 50 bucks? Do you want some, I mean, order some medicine now. No, no I'm, I don't like medicine. You want any medicine? Okay. I just would like to make sure I'm not going to die. You, you, don't, so you don't want any medicine? No, thank you. Are you sure you don't want any medicine? You need your mind, let me know. I'm sure. Thank okay, you. all right. Only <laughs> please me, right? Oh. It's really not funny. It's not. But it is. Go to LA, they said. <laughs> Love this place. Uh, stop. Stop I don't know how to not be funny here. <laughs> I'm your funniest friend. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were
Hey, Taylor, maybe you should go. I'm way too funny. I don't know how to stop. What do you mean? I'm just too funny. Why? You just keep laughing. Really? Everything I say, you I laugh. know that this might not be the best time, but your Venmo didn't go through yet. <laughs> for what? He owes me 50 bucks for chugging two beers at once. Uh, there was a bet that we had yeah. that Jack owed me $100 if I chugged two beers, which, crazy enough, I chugged both those two beers before getting on the bull. Guess what I never got, Taylor? Tylenol emotion will definitely help if you change your mind. Hey, next time you come to Florida, do you think we could not go to the hospital for my party? Uh, we'll see. I'll check my schedule. All right, cool. If ever I fall, push the red button. See, you see, there, yeah, you know, yeah. Ready? How many times have we been to the hospital together, Garrett? Me and you. I mean, I think uh, a good amount for the amount of friends that we have. You know that time that you had an asshole? Oh, we don't fuck Walk with that. Walk slow, yet. walk slow, Garrett. Who's f***ing, is that Chris? That's right. Chris, huh? Yeah. <laughs> like slight miscommunication of what happened earlier. Yeah. So I thought I'd explain the situation. Yeah. So in case you're interested in what happened okay. earlier. So imagine that like belly flopping onto it like straight to your ribs. So that that's what happened earlier. And I, I think that maybe part of the reason that my chest is in pain. Oh my god. They have something to do with it. But yeah life's crazy. And some of it doesn't make sense, like the fact that we're allowed to do whatever we want is concerning. No one should ever give us a mechanical bull, and the fact that Garrett is in charge of an entire house is terrifying. At a certain point in life, you're going to come to the realization that some of us should not be allowed to be unsupervised. But that's what growing up is about, and that's why they make jails, so that people like myself and Garrett know that if you're unsupervised enough, you are going to get in trouble. Now if you enjoyed this video, that's entirely because of me and the fact that I am hilarious. But I'd be a liar if I said this video would be possible without Garrett. And he got clapped by his insurance and now has a $3,000 bill for an x-ray. Because I'm such a good person, I'm going to put his Venmo on the screen. And you guys can say absolutely whatever you want to Garrett. Please make fun of him even, but please make sure it's for the price of $6.69. It's the least we can do. Think about the children.